so you can see this is called as anterior shoulder dislocation huh? so here is a patient by name nagaya who is 75 year old so this patient presented to me today in the opd with anterior shoulder dislocation so let me tell about anterior shoulder dislocation so this is your shoulder joint this is a ball humeral head acts like a ball and this is a glenoid socket so we call it as a socket where the ball goes and sits inside the socket so this is a normal shoulder joint so shoulder dislocation means when the shoulder ball comes out of the joint like this so the shoulder joint can come forward or it can go backward so usually the most common dislocation is anterior dislocation that is when the shoulder joint slips forward direction so this is the shoulder dislocation so where you can see the ball of the shoulder joint has come forwards that is anteriorly and it is sitting in the in front of the glenoid bone so this is the glenoid bone with the glenoid uh, socket so the ball comes and sits in front of the glenoid bone like this so you can see so this is the labrum so what we call it as labrum tissue it has torn the capsulo labral tissue and it comes and sits in front anteriorly like this so here you can palpate the ball and the normal shoulder contour is lost because of the deltoid muscle that uh, there is a loss of deltoid contour so when the patient comes we immediately secure an iv line and give iv uh, infusion with paracetamol or tramadol so that the pain will immediately reduce and we'll plan accordingly for the shoulder manipulation and reduction uh -huh. now you can see once the shoulder is dislocated back into the joint the patient is comfortable now we judge man ra ha see almost he was screaming with pain and now the patient is absolutely pain free so that is the beauty of shoulder dislocation now you can see i am moving his shoulder joint completely immediately so i have to take one precaution i should not abduct and extrudate too much so that to prevent re dislocation so we have to internate it and keep in the adducted position it ko lenge kai now you can see the shoulder contour is maintained earlier i was able to press and there was a depression see now the you can feel the uh, deltoid contour it has regained and now you can see the swelling which was here anteriorly to the shoulder has reduced and it is free so the ball which was sitting here has gone and relocated into its position so what is this shoulder reduction so here we have reduced the shoulder joint which was anteriorly and into the socket joint so the ball which was in the front like this has gone and sat back into the joint so now there is no swelling anteriorly and the shoulder contour is regained and the patient is pain free as you can see in just 5 minutes so this you can see this is the shoulder immobilizer so now i have reduced the shoulder dislocation and now it's time to apply the shoulder immobilizer so it comes with the wrist strap the abdominal strap and the arm strap so here you can see shoulder immobilizer has three components the arm strap the wrist strap and the abdominal strap so now i'll show you how to apply a shoulder immobilizer after your shoulder dislocation reduction so this is the wrist strap so this is the arm strap so now you can see the patient is comfortably sitting So this is the shoulder immobilizer you can see it has got three components one is the wrist strap that is the arm strap and this is the abdominal strap 